Good evening, and welcome to another stream. Uh, it's been a minute since we've streamed, but we are back. And we're going to be trying out a little game here that I bought. And this is called Titanic Fall of a Legend. Yep, so I found this game on Steam for relatively cheap. It's a little indie game uh, that simulates the sinking. Um, it's not a real-time sinking, but uh, all the same. We're still going to check it out and uh, see what it looks like. Um, there's a couple of different modes. So uh, let's take a look at that. So, so let's see what we have here. In this mode, you can experience what it was like on the Titanic when it sank in first person. This simulation goes for approximately 30 minutes. Let's see. In this mode, you can experience, excuse me, you can explore and experience a partial interior sinking of D deck. The simulation goes for approximately 20 minutes. And in daytime explore mode, in this mode, you can explore the Titanic in the daytime. So we're going to probably start off with that. Then we will do the um, the D-deck sinking, and then we will save the, uh, the actual sinking as the main event for tonight. So let's go to this explore mode first, and we can check out the ship during the day. Curious to see uh, how well they've uh, done their model of the ship in this game. Ah, so so we're starting right off on uh, the boat deck here. All right, right off the bat, I'm noticing that. Uh, they don't have a, a free camera mode. That is desperately needed. Let's go look at the bridge. And you cannot go to any interiors of the ship in this game. Let's see. The ship is at a stop. So we're not moving. Go out on the port bridge deck. <laughs> They've got a lifeboat swung out. Walking animation is interesting. Okay, so I'm noticing right off the bat that uh, one thing I like already. See, uh, if you look at the mast, you've got these four wires that go from the forward mast all the way to the aft mast. And then over here, you've got these four wires that are coming down from there, and that goes, am I stuck? Yeah, I'm stuck. Those wires 
go down into the top of the ship right there. I guess we can't get up there, but you see. That goes down into the wireless room. And that's how the Marconi system works. What's up, Matt? So we're checking out this game, uh, Titanic Fall of a Legend. Uh, it's not a very long game, so probably just be streaming for about an hour or so. I found this on Steam for dirt cheap, so I bought it. So uh, the first mode, we're just kind of exploring the ship in the daytime, taking a look at it. Uh, I'm liking what I see so far as far as how they uh, they modeled the ship. I don't know if this is a single developer or a, like a little group of guys or girls that did this. So yeah, B deck looks correct. Or excuse me, I'm on A deck. Okay, so let's go back down. Now, I did try out the game before uh, the stream tonight just to make sure everything would work. And uh, I jumped off the ship, and you walk on the water in every mode. So I'm not going to jump off the ship in this mode because there's no way to get back on it. So yeah, all this looks good. Really dig that. Love that shot of the bridge. That's one of the ways to tell the Titanic apart from the Olympic. You notice the uh, the bridge wing extends outward a little further from the ship. Uh, the Olympics were flush with the ship. And this barricade here uh, third class passengers, of course, had access to the forecastle deck, but they were not allowed beyond this barricade because of all the, uh, heavy equipment and stuff on this side of it. But, uh, it would not surprise me, of course, if people came all the way up to the front right here. Uh, stuck on a on a line. <laughs> LOL. What are you LOLing about? So let's walk the A-Deck Promenade. So yeah, this is kind of bare bones. There were, of course, a lot of deck chairs and whatnot going up and down the Promenade. And it... Almost like it's missing the door to the grand staircase. Cause it it wouldn't have been this far aft. It would have been around this area somewhere. So it's yeah, there is a, a run mode here. Of course this is gonna go up to the boat deck. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you definitely walk on water in this. But uh, as I was saying in the beginning, this is it's a little cheap indie game. Probably uh, one person or a few people made this. So uh, 
it's not quite on the uh, the level of Titanic Honor and Glory or um, uh, the Britannic Patroness of the Mediterranean, but so far from what I'm seeing about the ship, it looks good. It's mostly accurate. Although I do not remember these big ladders that they have right here. Could be wrong, but I don't think I am. All right, let's take a look at the poop deck. Let's go up to the uh, the docking platform. I mean, for a cheap little indie game, uh, the model of the ship is not that bad looking. They probably just put these in the game for easy access, uh, these ladders. Yeah, the A-Deck Promenade was definitely not bare bones with nothing there uh, like this. Alright, let's go up to the boat deck. You gotta jump, you can't just walk straight up, that's weird. Let's take another look at the bridge real quick. we can get up here. This is one of the collapsibles. Alright, so this would have been the entrance of the Grand Staircase on the right, and this would have been the entrance of the gym on the left. This is the gem right here. Uh, this this was a little compass tower. Of course, all three of them had this uh, this little deal on them. All three Olympic class ships, that is. It's a little hard to navigate steps in this game. I'm having to jump down instead of just walking up and down these steps and these ladders. Whoa. Almost a little glitch there. So this would have this is the dome for the uh, at the Grand Staircase, the big beautiful glass dome that you always see. Both staircases had that, and this would have been the cover for the aft one. And here's the, the second class entrance. This kind of sounds like water uh, crash, look, crashing on the beach instead of a, a ship in the ocean, but it's all good. The only thing I'm not really digging is uh, they definitely need a free camera mode. 
Now, if you played, uh, if you ever played Titanic Adventure out of time, I believe this is right where you meet uh, Max. And again, I got to jump down off the ladder. And in Titanic Adventure Out of Time, this was actually the wireless room, although it's that's not completely accurate. Hi, Diamond Star. How are you doing? Welcome to the to the stream. We're just checking out this little uh, copy of the Titanic. Uh, yes, this is for PC only. Uh, this is on Steam. So yeah, you meet uh, third officer Moro right here, and you've got to convince him to let you into the wireless room. Okay, nice. All right, so yeah, this is pretty much the exterior of the ship. Like I said, uh, you cannot explore anything on the inside of the ship. But overall, uh, it's not a bad model of the ship at all so without further ado let's let's go ahead and ramp up on the uh the sinking aspects of the game and see what they've done uh, as far as that goes so uh, let's see we're gonna quit to desktop no 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 we're gonna quit to menu Okay. All right, so this is what we're going to do first. Partial D-deck interior sinking experience. In this mode, you can explore and experience a partial interior sinking of D-deck. This simulation goes, or the simulation goes, for approximately 20 minutes. All right, well, let's do this. All right, so this is supposed to last for 20 minutes. I imagine we probably cannot explore much of this section. That's uh, the first class dining. see whoa look at that so e deck is already underwater and i guess this is going to gradually rise let's see can we get to c deck no see it the stairs are blocked cannot get any higher than that on c deck And we can't open these doors. Okay, so here we go. Look at the water slowly creeping up. The lifts are already flooded. My Titanic game is on Roblox and called Titanic SOS. I've never heard of that one before. This is my first playthrough on this one. Uh, I have played the Titanic Honor and Glory demos, and I have, of course, played uh, Titanic Adventure Out of Time. So the water's not... Okay, yeah, now the water is slowly submerged in the very top of the steps.
Now imagine at this point, if the bow is not completely underwater, it's got to be close. Well, look at this. We can go over here. This this side of uh is open. So I guess they're gonna the water's gonna keep pushing us uh, further and further aft. Titanic SOS is like this game, but you can explore almost the entire ship. Uh, if it's on PC, I will definitely look into it. Um, and maybe possibly stream it. Yeah, I did mess around with this game a little bit um, last night just to make sure uh, everything would be okay as far as streaming goes. Uh, and I didn't have any issues. It's for every di device. Okay, cool. I will. Uh, I will definitely look into it. Now, when we do the actual sinking. Uh, simulation uh, it's a third it takes 30 minutes to do and of course if you know anything about the Titanic it took uh, two hours and 40 minutes in to sink so um, this is not a real-time uh, simulation of the sinking and I'm not sure how fast D deck actually flooded I don't know if this is uh, accurate or not but from forward to aft we know of course is correct the actual honor and glory one um, yeah the actual honor and glory game uh, they have a d-deck simulation sinking as well and uh, I played it and it actually kind of creeped me out. I mean, that one kind of really puts you in the the feeling of what it may have been like. And I'm, uh, personally, I'm just like, yeah, I I'm good. I'm Last thing I ever want to do is be on a sinking ship. That didn't sound good. I have to teleport on Titanic SOS on Roblox. Oh, cool. I feel like the camera is actually rising with the water, so there is no way to look underneath the water. So we'll just look back as far as we can. And again, we can't get on this side, so. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. So I guess we're going to watch all of this area flood. Uh, we cannot go any further than this. Is it, just, is it me or did the lights come on? Uh, at least, well, it's like a three, four minute demo, Matt, and um, it really, uh, it did the best job as far as I could tell as what giving you that feeling of what it might have been like to be on the ship and it's in this same area too in D deck reception and um yeah it just kind of creeped me out uh 
Okay. So now the water is above our heads. I have a feeling it would have sounded, uh, you'd have heard a lot more sounds too, other than this creaking noise that the ship made. Yeah, my, my butt would have been on boat deck as soon as possible trying to get onto a lifeboat. Um, Funny thing about that, for those who may or may not be familiar, um, you know, the common thing was that uh, uh, it was women and children first, and uh, that was true. But uh, rather or not, if you were a man and you could get into a lifeboat, depended on what side of the ship you were on. Um, on the starboard side, there was uh, Officer Murdoch. And he was letting men onto lifeboats after all the women and children that were in the immediate vicinity of the boat were let onto the boat. Because uh, he interpreted Captain Smith's orders as women and children first. Now, uh, over on the port side, you had uh, Second Officer Charles Lightoller uh, conducting... Uh, the evacuation and he interpreted the orders as women and children only so no men were allowed into the boats that uh that he was releasing so yeah if we were actually on the ship this is uh this is the highest you could be and the water still coming Pretty soon, we're not going to be able to see the grand staircase at all. Well, wonderful. Uh, we certainly wish you a happy birthday. Hope you have a wonderful birthday. Uh, we cannot get up to sea deck. The stairs are blocked off. And uh, it is a D-deck only uh, simulation uh, of the sinking in this game mode. Yeah, so uh, th this game mode is roughly 20 minutes. I imagine we're at least halfway through it by now. I guess when the whole D-deck of reception goes underwater, that ends this simulation. And from there, we are going to do the uh, the sinking of the exterior. We're going we're gonna to see the bird coming. We're going to see the ship hit it. And we're going to watch the sinking from there. Yeah, so this is a, uh, like I said, uh, this is a little indie game that someone put together. Um, so it kind of is what it is. Um, we can walk on water. We're not going to drown or anything like that. Uh, so it's really just a straight up uh, kind of bare bones uh, simulation of the sinking. But I am impressed with the model they've done of the ship. Um, it's, of course, it's not perfect, but it's good. It's acceptable. I wonder how many people stayed inside and were thinking, let's stay inside going towards the stern. Uh, like... Stern was actually one of the worst places you could be. Yeah, 
Yeah, people come and go uh, in the stream. Of course, I'm not a very well-known streamer, so uh, I don't expect a whole audience, but it's fine. I appreciate anybody who stops by and checks it out, even if it's just for a few minutes. I have a feeling people will stay longer once we do the uh, the exterior shots of the ship sinking. Okay, these are supposed to be tables. I'm trying to get to the other side. These must be tables that are now underwater that are blocking my my path. Yeah, see here's some chairs. And if anyone is interested, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I, I did stream uh, Britannic, uh, Patroness of the Mediterranean. Of course, uh, Britannic is the Titanic sister ship, one of the two. Uh, that is available on the channel. Just go to the uh, go to the playlist. Uh, you'll see it in the past streams, or uh, there's a playlist called Titanic and Other Ships. Yeah, you see those there. It's a two-part uh, stream. All right, so we're mostly flooded here. I imagine this simulation is going to be ending soon. Especially since I can't really see where I'm going anymore. All the uh, furniture is blocking me. All right, so technically we're underwater right now. See if we can get to the other side. So yeah, not the perfect simulation again, but I mean, for the price I paid, I think I paid. There was a this one and a Britannic game they have that were bundled, uh, and I paid like seven bucks for it. So. I think they would, it could have been this part of the sinking, or at least their version of it, could have been a little bit more suspenseful if they had some uh, some more foreboding music, and if you know you couldn't go underwater. And this this part kind of takes you out of the uh, the immersion of it, uh, for lack of a better word. See, technically we're still underwater right now. And we're just about to the point where we cannot be above water at any part in this demo. And I guess that's their intention. Yeah, look at this. But here we go. Now, I wonder if, uh, does this demo end on its own, or do I have to exit out of it? Because, I mean, right now we're completely underwater. So I don't think there's anything else, uh, really we can do in this demo, so... 
if it doesn't auto end, I'm just going to end it now. That way we, we can look at the main event. Yeah, that's not a that's not a good representation of E deck right there, but it's okay. Nice. I uh, do have also some other streams where I did uh, the Titanic Honor and Glory demos as well. Uh, those are available on the channel. So I think this is it. I don't right here because the water's not going any higher, even though we're underwater. So yeah, I guess there's nothing else to see uh, in this demo. So let's go ahead and exit out of this main menu. And this is what we're going to do. This is uh, the main event right here. In this mode, you can experience what, what it was like on the Titanic when it sank. In first person, the simulation goes for approximately 30 minutes. Uh, before I do that, uh, I'm going to go run to the restroom real quick, chat. Uh, give me like two minutes, and uh, when I get back, uh, we're going to start this, this simulation right here. So I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that, folks. I had to make a uh, quick restroom break. 
So uh, here's what we're going to do now. We are uh, in this mode, and you can explore and experience a partial. No, we did this one already. We need to change levels. All right. All right, first person seeking experience. In this mode, you can experience what it was like on the Titanic when it sank in first person. This simulation goes for 30 minutes. So uh, just keep a fr friendly reminder that this is not a real-time sinking of the ship. Um, everything is going to happen a lot faster in this game than what had happened in real life. Because, again, the, the, the Titanic took two hours and 40 minutes to actually sink. Um, but having said that, uh, here we go. Here's the main event. Gotta wait for it to load. This game does take some uh, unusually lo unusually long load times. All right, so here they are. They're starting us off on the boat deck. Let's get down to the forecastle deck so we can see the berg. I'm trying to get there as fast as possible. All right, I can barely make it out. There it is. There's the iceberg. All right, so they just spotted it from the crow's nest. And they're going to turn the ship hard to starboard. There it goes. And it takes a minute for this ship to start turning. Here we go, getting closer and closer. See, now the ship is turning. But it's not, unfortunately, going to be enough. Here we go. Ooh, some glitches. And we're following the iceberg. Now, one thing about the iceberg to mention here is you see how it's all nicely lit up. Um, it almost implies that uh, moonlight is hitting it. We do know that this was a moonless night, so the iceberg would not have been as well lit as we see it in the game. I don't even know if you could see the water uh, in real life at this point. Alright, so... Let's get back up forward. Let's get on the boat deck. That's kind of weird. 
these lines and whatnot in the paint. I know it didn't look like that in real life. Alright, so there's steam coming out of the smokestack still, but there are not... It doesn't look like, uh, like they're actually venting the steam like they would have in real life, nor, uh, you hear the, the deafening sound. You remember, guys were standing right next to each other while they're preparing the lifeboats, and they're having to shout in each other's ears in order to hear each other because the noise from the funnels venting steam was that intense. All right, so, so I'm not sure uh, if they're going to do this or not, but um, at one point uh, after the collision, Captain Smith did order the ship to start back up, and the Titanic did move a bit more, albeit not for very long. First rocket. Now someone can fact check me on this, but I'm fairly certain that the rockets didn't start firing until after the first lifeboat was launched, but I could be wrong on that. Just waiting to see when they're going to start lowering the boats. See, they've got this. The boats are swung out in the aft section. Or was I just seeing things? No, that must have been the iceberg I was looking at. All right, so there we go. Now they're starting to swing some lifeboats out. So again, if you were on this side of the ship, uh, First Officer William Murdoch was ordering or controlling the evacuation on this side of the ship. And he interpreted Captain Smith's orders as women and children. First, if there were no uh, women or children around the boat when this one launched and all the other ones, he would let men onto the boat. Now over here on the port side, second officer Charles Lytoller was handling the evacuation and he interpreted Captain Smith's orders as women and children only. So if you were a man and you were on this side trying to get onto a boat, um, you were pretty much screwed. Oh, another rocket. All 
Right, let's go to the forecastle deck. Because it looks like the port list is happening now. Yes. Yep, so, yep, there it is. There's the port list. When the bow collided with the seafloor, this hatch that I'm standing on got completely blown off. So more lifeboats are going down. Now at one point, I know uh, Captain Smith ordered the lifeboats to return uh, to pick up more passengers. Um, I don't believe any of them did. I always wondered why the ship that was uh, nearby did not come when they saw those fireworks. There was a ship close enough that could have came. Uh, I don't think anyone will ever know for sure if it was a Californian, but that's... I think still mostly what people believe is that it was the Californian. And just a reminder, we can walk on water in this game. So when we get close to the point where the breakup is going to happen, I am going to jump overboard and back up a bit so we can actually see the breakup. Yeah, she's listening hard to port now. Go up to the boat deck. I personally believe that it was the Californian, um, but I don't know. Other people have to say that it's not. I I think it was. I mean, and they even admitted that they were close by the sh by the Titanic. I think that was number three. There were six rockets in total that were fired. So most of the boats are gone. Let's see how many are. All the forward boats are gone. Let's go to the aft section. So... So this may not be entirely accurate. I don't believe they launched one whole section at a time and then this whole section in the stern would have launched. And I don't believe you could see the iceberg anymore after they passed the ship. Because as I said, um, the ship did come to a complete stop and then at one point Captain Smith did order 
the ship, rest the engines restarted, and they did move a little bit more, but not much. Let's see, so here in the forward section, all these boats are gone. I really wish they would have done a real-time sinking. That way they could have gotten the sinking a bit more accurate. Now they did all of this by hand. If memory serves, it took uh, 10 minutes apiece for the lifeboats to get from the side of the ship all the way down to the water. And there was an instance on the starboard side here where one lifeboat almost landed on top of another one that had just gotten into the water and almost crushed all the people in it. But uh, that lifeboat was able to get away just in the nick of time. I haven't seen that happen uh, in this depiction of the sinking. Now this is one thing this game's getting right that uh, the actual the Cameron movie did not get right. In the Cameron movie the ship is always level throughout the entire sinking and uh, of course, they probably didn't know that at the time that that movie was made. But uh, we know now that there was a port list. I remember watching an interview with uh, Eva Hart, who was one of the survivors, and uh, she said that uh, at the time she got on a boat, which was in the very beginning of the evacuation, uh, there was no panic at all going on on the decks. But uh, after the boats were gone, at this point in the sinking, uh, you had panic galore. And I mean, why wouldn't you? All the lifeboats are gone. You know you're stuck on this ship that's sinking. She said you could hear people running around up on the decks and panicking and screaming. But look at this. So, A deck is already submerging on this side. Look at that. The whole, this whole deck is already gone. I don't want to get off the boat just yet. And I just did. So, as you can see, we can walk on water. Now, once the port side bridge wing here goes underwater, the ship's going to level out. And here we go. Now the, the bridge wing on the port side's going under. So yeah, it actually went a whole lot faster than it, uh, I was even expecting. Faster up uh, the ship in this version of the sinking, I mean.
This had to be absolutely terrifying. Look at this. I think we're stuck. No. And now the bridge is going under. Breakup happens, I believe, not long after the entire bridge goes under. Now, at this point, they were trying to get the collapsibles down. It looks like they're not on. Yep. All right. Here's here's the one where uh, it floated off. It was upside down. And they had to stand on this thing for hours and hours until the Carpathia arrived. And they had to keep balancing themselves to the left and to the right to keep this thing from tipping over. On the other side, they tried to get one of the boats onto the davits, but they did not have enough time. They had to cut it off of the lines and float it off of the ship. better start getting where we can see a side view of the ship because the breakup's going to be happening soon. And they said at this point, too, you did not see all the bright lights on the ship. The, the lights were getting dimmer and dimmer, and there was a big reddish glow to them, and that was the engine rooms being flooded and losing power to the whole ship. keeping the starboard side bridge wing in, in the shot until it goes completely under. And you see that light that was sticking up on top of the bridge wing is about to go under. Well, let's hop in a lifeboat. And there it goes. There goes the first funnel. Just fully submerged. See the grand staircase is going under. Yeah, and there's the sterns coming more and more up out of the water. Yeah, one thing the Cameron movie got wrong was uh, after the breakup, the stern did not go 90 degrees into the air. They've uh, concluded that it uh, it was more like 24, 25 degrees, something like that, when the breakup happened, or after the breakup happened, I believe. I believe the third and the fourth funnels break off when the breakup happens.
I don't want to leave this view because I want to see the breakup. So yeah, at this point, everyone still on the ship would have been hightailing it to the stern section. And you can see it slowly lifting it more and more into the air. Yep, you can see almost the whole rudder. Oh, there's a second funnel. Oh, look at that. Look how fast it's going now. Breakup's going to happen any second now. Lights go out. Between the third and the fourth funnels? Nope. There it goes. Alright, bow is gone. Third funnel. goes yeah and this is more like it like I said the, the stern did not go completely vertical at a 90 degree angle I like their lighting in this game too, although it's not probably not a hundred percent accurate to what it was like. I feel like it's more accurate than what any of the movies depicted. And she's gone. these people in these boats had to just sit there and wait. I think the Carpathia didn't show up for almost two hours after the Titanic went completely uh, underwater. All right, folks, so that is, that's it for this game. You know, so overall, uh, like I said, for a little indie game, it's really not that bad. Um, I am going to leave a review on it because, uh, It'll be a positive review, too, but I'm going to make a couple of suggestions. Um, them being that there should be a free camera mode. Um, I know they probably would never be able to do this, uh, but I would like to see one where it's a, a real-time sinking uh, of the ship and a few things to be a little bit more accurate, which they probably couldn't do because it's such a condensed version of what happened in real life. But uh, again, for a little indie game, you know, it's it's not bad. You know, it is what it is. Um, 
so yeah that's that's this game hopefully we can find some more uh, i may take up uh diamond stars uh suggestion about a uh, titanic sos i'll at least look into it and uh see if it's something i would be interested in um if you are interested uh in the other games like this i have played them on stream uh i have played uh a couple of the titanic honor and glory demos um those are available if you go to the channel you look at uh there's two different playlists they're on. They're on a uh, past streams and they're on um, a playlist that says Titanic and other ship related content. Uh, also, I did play uh, Britannic patroness of the Mediterranean. Uh, those are also available on the channel for you to go back and watch if you're interested. And uh, we'll be doing more like this in the future. I'm still trying to figure out a way to uh, stream Titanic adventure out of time. Uh, because it's such an old game, it does not work on a modern system, or at least I haven't figured out a way to make it work yet, but I know it can, because, I mean, I, I see YouTube videos of it all the time, so I just have to figure out how to make it work on my system. But, uh, I would like to thank everyone who, uh, stopped by the stream. I appreciate it, uh, more than you know. <laughs> So uh, if you're interested, like and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it greatly. Um, there will be more content like this coming out in the future. Uh, also, I will be streaming uh, again next Friday at 7 p.m. Uh, the interesting thing about that is next Friday happens to be Friday the 13th. Uh, I am a big uh, horror game and horror movie fan, so I will be probably playing some horror games next friday night so if that's something you're interested in um come on and stop back by and hang out with me again but uh that will do it for this week and uh once again thanks for stopping by and in the meantime drive safely